Y'all, this is not from Amazon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jolly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary. I do Disney hauls, pins, parks when I can, and weekly vlogs with my adorable Boston Terriers, Albert and Edie, and my husband, Nick. And today I have for you a Disneyland haul. Yes, Disneyland. <laughs> I have a very, very sweet friend who I met through YouTube. She messaged me on Instagram and said, hey, I'm going to downtown Disney and I would be happy to pick up anything that you might want. And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> so I tried to keep it to a minimum, but I got a few things. This box looks really big. <laughs> There's um, for sure something very, very cozy that I am so, so excited to put on. It's actually snowing right now. It's only 5.30 and it looks like it's like eight o'clock. It's so dark out and I'm, it's like wearing me out how dark it is. It was sunny yesterday and today it was back to being cloudy and bleh. I'm excited to open this package. It just arrived today. I went and grabbed it from the PO box and I am ready to just rip into it. So a huge shout out to Sam North on YouTube. She quickly became a very dear friend of mine. She's just been such a sweet supporter. So I'm so grateful for her. And this was just so sweet of her. Oh, she gave me a card. Mahalo means thank you in Hawaiian, but really I should be saying thank you. <laughs> it was so much fun to shop for you. I'm very happy to have gotten to know you and hopefully we'll be able to meet in person someday. Yes, here's the thing. As soon as Disneyland opens, I want to like be there. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to afford flying to the other side of the country, but I really, really want to. I want to meet Brittany and Liz from Walt Life Salt Life. I want them to just fly down, meet me. I can hang out with them and Sam North and just have like a grand old time with real people in real Disney. Anyway, let's get into this. First things first, I was so glad she saw this. It's a new, new emo outfit that I saw online and I was gonna buy it and then I was just waiting to like have enough stuff in my cart to get to like the $75, you know, <laughs> to get free shipping. And then they were sold out. So I was like, Sam, if you go, I need you to look for this outfit because it's gone. And she found it. I am totally obsessed with this little jacket. Like how freaking adorable is that? And then this little, it's got little tiny hearts on it. So it's like perfect for Valentine's day. And then it comes with these little like, fake alligator it looks like. It looks like fabric with like maybe like an alligator print on it. I can't really tell. But I was thinking cuter though. <laughs> I was so happy to get this and as you guys probably know I only have Stitch um, as a new emo but I asked Sam to grab Daisy for me too because I, I, I feel like she looks really vintagey. I love her eyes. I love her little beak. Oh, you picked such a cute one. You did a great job. She's adorable. Look at her little fluffy hair. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that was there. But she has like the perfect little like vintagey pink bow. She's kind of like, I don't know what this is about. She has like a little, I don't know what that is. A bracelet, I guess. I was like, this is gonna be so much more meaningful because it's coming straight from Disneyland. Thank you so much, Sam. I absolutely love her. Look at her little furry butt. Look at that. Little butt check. Look how ridiculously long this tag is. I'm so glad she picked her up. I love her little cheeks. I'm not like the biggest Daisy fan, but I think she she just seems so vintage. And now I can put somebody in this little outfit. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. The next thing I asked her to grab is soul cat. There's kind of a, a, a hidden meaning behind getting this. I love how pretty it is, but it's like the plush. It's so soft. I love it so much. Um, I need to find it. I think she's over there. I had a cat when I was growing up. When I was six years old, she was born in our garage. The mommy cat was a cat that just kind of hung around our house and stuff. Her name was Ginger. 
she um, was super sweet and then we spent the night I think at my grandparents house and then when they came to pick us up they were like we have a surprise for you we got home they took us to the garage and here were like five little kittens and my mom and dad said that we could each pick one my sister and I and so I picked um, a little uh, brownish tabby cat and she was so cute and sweet and I named her Domino because one of our neighbor cats was named Domino and he walked into the garage at the same time that I was trying to name her. In any case, uh, Domino passed away in 2011 and I have her ashes in a really cute little... I got this super cute little vintage um, pink candy dish. She was just a few days from being 19 years old and anyway, this is my cat <laughs> and um, I thought it would be cute to put a little soul cat with her and uh, make it Disney themed, I guess. I also just really, really enjoyed Soul. Thought it was really, really beautiful. Um, and so I was like, just grab me one of those Soul cats, please. She's so soft. Look at her little teal nose. She's adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so there's that. What? Oh my gosh. She's an annual pass holder. And she sent me this Disneyland AP magnet from the 65th anniversary. What? That is so cool. <sighs> Thank you. That's so unexpected and fun. I freaking love the Disneyland logo. I love all the letters. They're just so vintage and awesome. Man, she did such a good job wrapping this. Thank you so much. You did an awesome job. I got this new pin. So pretty of the Disneyland castle and it flips up whoop, and inside has a Disney Walt Disney quote it's kind of fun to do the impossible with his signature which I'm all over and then this cute picture of him this is gonna go with my Walt Disney I like Walt things with Walt on them <laughs> collection before I move on to the next thing, I wanted to shout out a few people who are subscribers or have commented just to say thank you. So a big shout out to Magic Rose Family, Hobby Princess, Jamie's Disney Kingdom, and Shannon Fike. So thank you guys so much for your participation. I really, really appreciate you. I have so many people on my list to thank, so I'll shout out a few more people in the next video. A couple more things. I have not purchased ears in a while, but Chinese New Year is this month, February. And I got outfits for my Stitch New Emo. These are so comfortable and they're so gorgeous. Look at that detail. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So I got outfits for my Stitch New Emo and Albert and Edie that are all Chinese New Year themed. So I wanted to make a video, just maybe even just a short, I'm not sure, but I thought it would be fun to have ears and I can wear these every year for Chinese New Year. I'm not Chinese, but I love Chinese New Year. All right, I think that's it. And then this last item is like, oh. yes. <laughs> Oh, it's so beautiful and it's so huge. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's like fleece on the inside and then it has this furry texture at the bottom. And I can't wait to put this puppy on. <sighs> These are so soft. Oh my gosh. I really, really debated back and forth about getting this one because they're not cheap, first of all, but they're also not available anymore in my size on um, Shop Disney. I think because they were on sale at one point, and so everybody bought them up. And I just don't know if they're going to bring it back, like, with all the sizes and stuff. So I was like, I think I would regret not ever having it. So let's just get it since you have a discount. <laughs> so I am absolutely obsessed. I love the gray with this cream color. I think that's just so nice. It's so soft, oh my goodness. I'm seriously so excited to wear this because it's winter in Indiana. Like, 
half the year. So this is gonna make winter in Indiana so much better. Thank you so much, Sam. I am completely obsessed. <laughs> so stinking cute. And this was so fun. I hope you got to have one too. All right, and then Brittany, my friend Brittany from Walt Life Salt Life sent me um, some things that she picked up for me at the Disney outlets. So I was debating getting this a number of times for Disney World and I didn't and I don't think it's online anymore and she saw this one at her outlet store. So I went to Disney World twice in 2020 and I collect up pins. So I was like, yeah, just grab that. I love Disneyland. It looks amazing. So I uh, grabbed that and it was only $4. I had her grab this too because I'm totally obsessed with this lanyard. So it's a Disney Parks pin trading starter set, like a booster set. And this freaking lanyard is so gorgeous. It's such a pretty color. I'm not like a huge, huge Frozen fan, but I can use these for traders or I can give them to my niece who is a huge Frozen fan. I don't think she collects pins, but this is like all of my favorite colors, the lanyard, so. I was like, just pick that up for me. It's only $10 and it was originally $33. So like $10 for four pins and a lanyard is pretty decent. So I grabbed that too. That is everything I have for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sam and Brittany for being my personal shoppers. <laughs> it's been so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all these beautiful things. Oh, I'm totally obsessed. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I most certainly did. I can't wait to put this spirit jersey on. It's going to be amazing. Please do subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, anything can happen. Just imagine. Don't stay away too long.